hello there welcome back to coding stuff and in the last part we have done with the list fragment uh, in which we have fetched all the quizzes that we stored in the firebase firestore and in this part what uh, we are going to do is in the details fragment we'll set the topic image and the topic title and difficulty and total number of questions using this position variable that will get passed from the list fragment so yeah let's start to work on it so in the list fragment uh, everything is done we have passed the position using this uh, list fragment uh, directions dot action list fragment to detail fragment action so yeah uh, i'll just close this and i'll close this as well and i'll open the details fragment and the xml of it as well so I think we should change the text color of this text to white. Okay, it depends on you how you want it, and I'll add one progress bar here. We'll just keep it over here. Over here. Okay, and this will be, and the ID will be detail. Progress bar. Okay. So now let's just delete uh, the extra stuff that we get here. Okay. And first of all, let's just uh, collect all the widgets that we have. So private text view. We have three text views. So first is the title and then difficulty and i think total questions okay to total questions and then we have one button so private button and it is start quiz button then we will have to use the now controller as well so now controller and also we'll have to create one variable to get the position to store the position and also we have the progress bar so private progress bar let's name it as a progress bar and the lastly view model so view model and yeah now in on create let's just initialize the view model and I'll delete this annotation now we will override on view created method okay so uh, let's just find all the IDs first So yeah, now now controller equals to navigation dot find now controller and we'll pass in the view. Then for the position, so to get uh, the position from the uh, list fragments, what we have to do with uh, sorry detail fragment args dot from bundle and here get arguments start get position okay so this is how we get the value from the uh, arguments so view model dot oh 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 sorry uh, so this should be quiz list view model yeah now view model dot get quiz list live data dot observe and the life cycle owner this sorry get life cycle owner and then new observer okay so in this quiz list model we have all the data but uh, we just want the data from this position only so what we will do is uh, quiz list model let's just write quiz 
this will be equals to quiz list models dot gate and here we'll pass passing this position so the so this is how we will just get uh, the data which is on this position okay so now we can set the data to our widgets so set text and this will be quiz dot get title sorry this should be get difficulty and then we have title so title dot set text quiz dot get title then we have total questions dot set text quiz dot get questions dot to string you know okay so string dot value of and this will be happy okay and also we have this image oh, i forgot this image so private image view or uh, topic image let's just find its id as well and here so topic image school to view dot find view id r dot and the dot details fragment image then column so to fetch the image we have to use glide glide with will pass in the view dot load the uri so quiz dot get image dot into the target so our target is topic image and then same column so yeah after loading this we so instead of directly in uh, hiding the uh, progress bar what we can do we'll, we'll wait for a few seconds so handler handler equals new handler and this is just a temporary fix we will work on this later post delayed new renewable interface uh, let's just pass 2000 seconds milliseconds into two seconds and then our progress bar dot site visibility will gone yeah and after this what we need to do is for the quiz fragment uh, we need to pass two data uh, the one will be the quiz id so private let's just create one string of quiz id and also we will require one total questions total question count let's name it in here total question count equals to our quiz dot get questions and semicolon and then our quiz id will equals to quiz dot get quiz id and that's it now we'll add on click listener to our start quiz button so start quiz button dot set on click listener new on click listener so again after clicking on this start quiz button what we want to do we want to navigate user from details fragment to actual quiz fragment so he can take the quiz so for that uh, we'll also need to pass some uh, data like quiz ID and total questions. So in the quiz fragment, we'll add one quiz ID. This will be string and the default value will be null. We'll just add it. And then the total questions, total count and its type will be long and the default value will be 0 L and yeah so now what we need to do is so now detail fragment directions dot action detail fragment the capital one let's just name it as action equals to I'll continue from the next line details fragment direction dot action detail fragment to quiz fragment we want this 
and then we will set some values. So action dot set quiz ID and here we'll pass in the quiz ID. Then action dot set total question count and this will be total question count. And then we'll use our nav controller dot navigate and we'll pass in this action there. And that's it. Uh, this. So yeah, uh, now we can test our app. So I'll hit on the run button and let's see. So our app installed. And it loads uh, the quizzes. Now I'll click on this. The programming. And as you can see, the image has been loaded. And the title and the difficulty easy and total question 10. So yeah, let me just press black and I'll hit on this Java. So yeah, Java programming and everything is fetching up. So I'll click on the start quiz. So yeah, now we just have to work on the quiz fragment and the results fragment. So I'll press back. So yeah, uh, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll start to work on the quizzes and we'll store some quizzes in the Firebase database and we will fetch them so yeah, do subscribe and thank you for watching.